Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Retechist TR105 Multiband Portable Radio. It's an AM FM shortwave CB airband VHF receiver that I bought at Amazon for $39.99 plus tax back in the summer when they had Prime Day. Now, they normally sell for $49.99, but be on the lookout for coupons or lightning deals to see if you can get this radio at a cheaper price. Here's the front of the box. Very generic looking. Pretty much nothing on most of the sides, just this Retechus logo. And on this side of the package is the information, uh, including their Facebook page, email, and website address, retechus.com, made in China, and a QR code. And that's all this box has. Now, this radio they have is basically a rebranded version of the Han Rongda. HRD-737. So this radio has actually been made for a while, although uh, Retechus later on put their own brand on there. So, here are the contents, or most of the contents. Uh, it was wrapped in this package right here. So, and then I'll take these out. And right here we have the USB micro USB charging cable here. A wrist strap lanyard to uh, tie to your radio that you can hang on your wrist or hang up somewhere. Your um, earbuds here. Uh, it has a few uh, extra uh, foam pads uh so, in case these don't fit you, you can put another one. Uh, they look pretty decent, the earbuds. And then, your owner's manual right here. It shows you what's on the radio. And various features as well. Just wanted to show you that briefly. I'll put the box away. And also, uh, it also came... With an alligator clip type antenna. Right here, uh, I provided my own twist tie. It came wrapped up, but this is how I put it. I do use it with this radio sometimes. So, uh, it's pretty neat that they came with that. And right now, I'll put the radio right here. But, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Very small. Uh, it looks like a pretty good form factor to me. And uh, for size comparison, I wanted to show you the Eton Elite Mini right here. Similar form factors. Although uh, the TR-105 is uh, thinner. Well, or smaller, but... About the same thickness as, um, uh, so I want to show you that. And the Retech is V115 AM FM shortwave uh, MP3 player recorder here, which is my other Retech is radio that I bought over three years ago back in 2018. Now, I will give you dimensions of this. The dimensions on this are 2 and 3 eighths of an inch in length, 4 and an eighth of an inch in height, and 5 and an eighth inch in depth with a 9 and 3 quarter inch antenna and 1 and a quarter inch speaker. So right now, um, I'll show you what's on the radio. Uh, Wide frequency receiver uh, has an LCD display, which is pretty bright and not very friendly to the camera unless I uh, turn it on an angle. So, yeah, not very camera friendly, but that's what it is. Uh, and right now, the time is 018 UTC or 
7.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Northeastern Park, New Jersey. Now on the front, you also have your band select button, your setting button, mode button, memory button for your presets. Uh, there's 50 presets per band. And by accessing it, I press memory and go through the volume up and down buttons, which is right here. I wish they had the tuning here and the volume on the side. I don't know why they did that. Because on the side of the radio, you have your tuning. I don't like that. I don't like that design. To me, that's a design flaw right there. The speaker is right here. One and a quarter inches. Then you have your Retechus. TR-105 logos here. And a little, little of a plane. Nothing on this side of the radio. I already showed you the... Tuning up and down switch on this side. Nothing on the bottom. On the top, you have your 9 3 quarter inch antenna here, which is very fragile and very thin. Just see, gotta be real careful with it. Or else, oh, now it's starting to come a little loose. So I gotta be careful with it. Your DC 5 volt jack here. Your lock button here, and then your power sleep button here. Now, while the radio's on, I can short press, and you have a signal indicator, which I thought is a very good feature there. And back of the radio right here. Yeah. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But some of the frequencies are actually not that accurate. Uh, they're, they have some of the frequencies... A little raw, especially the VHF. So, yeah, I think it's mainly the VHF is where the floor is in that. So, um, you have your information right here. Uh, your so the uh, lithium battery, seven hundred milliamp hour, three volts, and the charging voltage is DC five volts. Some other logos here, including the FCC logo, Vanity Case, QC, Quality Control, Sticker. And then here is your uh, lithium-ion battery that is stored here. It's connected to a... It, it's connected to a connector here. I would open this uncaptured door, but I don't want anything to happen to possibly a wire. I don't want to affect the wire Hopefully, so I'd rather not do that, but it is seven mil, 700 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. That it can be replaced with the right setting. Uh, you'll find out when you get this radio. Um, and uh, that's it. And then, as far as headphone experience, I don't think I went over this, but... If I did, I'll repeat it. Uh, Low-level hiss at no volume, but as you add volume, that hiss goes away. It's in FM stereo, so that's very neat that they did FM stereo on it. So I like that. So those are the features right here. I'm going to go over the frequencies anyway, because I have it written down on a piece of paper. The FM is... 87.5 to 108 megahertz and 100 kilohertz steps. The AM is 520 to 1720 kilohertz set to 9 or 10 kilohertz steps. Shortwave is 2.3 to 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz. 5 kilohertz steps. CB 25 to 28 megahertz at 5 kilohertz steps. The air band can actually be interchangeable in its steps. It's uh, 118 to 130 megahertz with either 5 or 25 kilohertz steps. I kind of wish they did that though for the VHF instead. They're 25 kilohertz steps which means you may in certain activity you may not get the actual frequency especially you know amateur radio where it's not always in 25 kilohertz steps or other public service activity. By the way, VHF, it says 30 to 223. It actually goes to 230 megahertz. 
in 25 kilohertz steps. So, um, that's pretty fun there that you're able to access those frequencies. But right now, what I'm going to do is turn on the radio. I think I have it set to uh, shortwave. Yeah, it's set to shortwave. And I got to be very careful. Yeah, there's some um, overloading of WABC 770 New York City. So that's why I had to turn it off. But uh, while on uh, shortwave, uh, I can use the mode button to go through the meter bands. Here's the mode button, and I can go through various meter bands. Radio Rebelde, Cuba. Okay. WTWW. Lebanon, Tennessee, barely coming in. WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee. WWCR Nashville, Tennessee. WWV on 10 megahertz. Barely coming in, but it's coming in. WR My Okeechobee, Florida. I'm going to see if I can get Brazil. And that's another problem with this receiver. It'll scan too quickly, so you got to be careful scanning this. Uh, not a good design that they did there either. I'm trying to see if I can get Radio Nacional de Amazonia on 11780. There it is. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, but I'm uh, hearing some overload. So, um, that is it for shortwave. I just want to show you this. Now, there's the CB band. I'm mainly going to get CB when there is either e-skip or high uh, solar flux index, which, by the way, is around 130 at the moment. So it should be pretty good band conditions. And see, once again, I think this is the volume, but it's actually the tuning. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep repeating it. That was a bad, very bad design that they did on that. Volume should be over here and the tuning should be there. That's my opinion. But not yet anything CB right now. So let's go to the air band. Now, I don't know how much air band. Uh, oh, neat. I got some air band now. 118.175. I'm just going through the presets. They have about 20 of them. Now, now I'm going to see if I can attach 
my Texan wire here and see if it got a little better reception. A little bit better. Now on the air band, I can set it. Squelch off by praying the set button or squelch on. So I can set the squelch by long pressing. And then the mode button, 5 kilohertz or 25 kilohertz steps by pressing the mode button. Now I'm going to go into the next band, which is VHFY, and this is a bit of a problem, because there's a flaw in this. In the lower part of the VHF band, when it's in wide mode, I actually get imaging of FM stations, not just like, not even just breakthrough or overload, but I'm talking about actual imaging in that lower part of the band between 30 and 36 megahertz, which is stations between 91 to 108 megahertz. So that's definitely a flaw, and I'll show you some of that. Okay. That is imaging a WVIP 93.5 New Rochelle, New York. And the same thing happened in, 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 in Suriname mm -hmm. because they want to go in there and do logging. Mm -hmm. The same thing is happening in Chile. Now, if I press the this button, I can get so the signal the world where noise the ratio. Live, and they want to take and over that's the, land. the signal indicator. And also, because of discrimination. Mm -hmm. And this goes all the way to 36, but I'm not going to show the whole band. What I'm going to do next, but before I do that, the VHF wide band is mainly used for broadcasting, whether it's FM or, t or analog TV sounds for countries that still have it or campus radio. It covers 30 to 230 megahertz, so... That's what the wide is used. Now it was used for more scanner-like functions like police, fire, marine, military, or uh, weather ban, ban activity, including 2-meter ham as well, and I think even 6-meter, so, and 6-meter as well. That's where now it, I get it by pressing the mo button. You can change from VHFN to VHFW from now to wide. So what I'm going to do is scan up to the weather band. So I'll scan up to the weather band. I'm going to do it quickly. But the VHF also includes FM when you set it on wide. Are requested to round around this area or transit through it. KWO 35, New York City. The southeast of Atlantic City slow zone is bounded by the following coordinates 39 degrees 25 minutes north latitude, 38 degrees 44 minutes north latitude, 73 degrees. Pretty neat that I can get the weather band. Now, 36 minutes west longitude. The coastal waters for. Now, I set it on Y and. Uh, it can also be set to wide, but it's better to set no weather to narrow. So I can so it doesn't bleed on adjacent channels. Now now I would get KZV thirty one right now. I did have gotten it before. Winds fifteen to twenty knots, diminishing to ten to fifty knots in the And that's it for the VHF band. Next is uh, FM, which I will turn down because I don't want to get copyright claimed. But uh, FM, uh, you know, I can scan, 
go up and down, single press, or scan through the band pretty easily since it is FM. And so that's a pretty neat feature. But right now, I'm just going to quickly go through my memories. I put 50 presets here so I could do the FM band scan more quickly. So here's what I'm going to do. It's good they're talking right now. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to press memory and quickly go through my 50 presets as a band scan. Which uh, I went... WSOU South Orange, New Jersey. Listening to us, Professor Vereen Shepherd, uh, those who continue well, to argue that the Maroons have no connection to indigenous people. Well, um, our December 25th, 1991, when we We're going to talk about communion. We're going to talk about communion. We're going to talk about communion. There's an unlicensed station 107.9. And that is it for the FM scan. Now, as far as FM is concerned, I'll leave the radio on anyway. But as far as the FM performance is concerned... Uh, pretty decent uh according to my reception report it got 53 stations 43 okay to good in 12 weeks or was it 41 i yeah i think it was 41 okay to good in 12 weeks signals so yeah 53 stations this is not bad at all for this radio so it's a pretty decent fm performer now i'm gonna go to am now AM to me is not quite as good, but still decent enough for local stations and strong semi-local or strong distance stations. Uh, weak signals, it doesn't do a very good job, but it's okay. So I'm going to start with that band scan. CKLW, Winston, Ontario, Canada. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. CHML Hamilton, Ontario. Gerard Butler, though, I don't find him intriguing enough to delve further into his filmography. But I will watch under Seed. That's in a special day. And I. He wakes up at night four times a night. Teacher Charlie Moore on the sitcom Head of the Club. One of the many bangles fans. There you go. WBAL, Baltimore, Maryland. WBAL, 
WBT, Charlotte, North Carolina. Championship game, the 49. WWVA, Wheeling, West Virginia. WHAM, Rochester, New York. WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Another problem with this receiver has the same auto gain control problem as the Eton Elite, uh, Eton Elite Mini. WJZ Baltimore, Maryland. Is worth living, worth respecting. From. WWRL, New York City, BIN 1600. Hmm. It gets a little weaker past 1600, but. Not too bad. And that is it. And that is all for the band scans. Um, as far as AM performance is considered, um, I thought it was just okay. I mean, during the day, I got 32 stations, 22 okay to good, and 10 weak signals. And at night, I got 68 stations, 33 okay to good, and 35 weak signals. But... Honestly, this radio for AM is better on stronger stations. And they have that auto gain control flaw like the Eton Elite Mini. So, yeah, that's a bit. So the AM's a little bit of a problem, but it's okay. Now, as far as my final thoughts on this video and this review, um, it's a fun receiver. I'll give it that. It lets you at least be curious and explore what is on other parts of the VHF band, you know, from the 30 to 230 megahertz range. And I have gotten, you know, public service activity out of it. So it's just as more spontaneous and not continuous. So that is why I couldn't really feature it. And that's why I recorded videos before reviewing it's just so you can hear what it is like with the hand bands and the weather band and air band and cb and other public service bands which is why i did that instead of at least show you that something can be there fm is pretty decent it's pretty good uh am's okay shortwave to me is okay but it suffers overload from strong medium wave stations, but that's more of my location than anything else. If I was farther away from WABC, I probably wouldn't be getting that kind of bleed over. CB, uh, when, when I can get it, it comes in pretty good, so that's fine. Airband is fine, it's pretty good. And, uh, VHF, uh, it's fine, but it's pretty flawed, Especially with the 25 kilohertz stepping. And you can't get narrower steps than that. So that's why there may be a little inaccuracy within the handbands and other public service activity. And that bleed over from FM or imaging from 30 to 36 megahertz. In the lower part of that band. That's a flaw I didn't like about it. I like that there's a VHF now and a VHF wide, so you can get various services on there. So that's a pretty good feature. And I also don't like the antenna. It's too thin. And uh, the very confusing setup of the volume and tuning where they locate. This should have been the tuning, and this should have been the volume. 
a bit annoying at times, and even the scanning is either can be too quick if you just press and hold. That can be a little annoying at times. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So, but to its credit, it has a nice fun factor to it. And because of that fun factor, I'm actually going to give it a couple points extra. If it wasn't for the fun factor, this would be nothing but a two-star radio overall. But because of that fun factor, I'm actually going to give this rating a 6 out of 10, 3 stars. Because of that fun factor, despite some of the flaws it has. Now, would I recommend this radio? Uh, I can only give it a maybe. Because uh, to me, $49.99 regular price is not a good price for this radio. You should not spend more than $40 on this radio. So... If it's 40 and under, I'll get a maybe recommendation. If it's over, if it's $50, forget it. Uh, I would not recommend it because of the flaws. So, if you can get this for $40 or less, you can go ahead and get it. Now, those are my final thoughts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a good weekend, everybody. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.